Section 7.2, Effective Nuclear Charge. If you have a positive and a negative, they're attracted together, and their attraction is string stronger when it's closer and weaker when it's farther away. So if you have electrons are, which are swirling around the nucleus of an atom and the nucleus is positive and the electrons are negative, then the electrons are attracted to the, to the nucleus. But they're not all at the same level. All the electrons are in nested shells, some close, some farther away. So the closer ones have a stronger attraction to the nucleus because of their distance. The ones farther away have a weaker, uh, weaker attraction to the nucleus because of their distance. Also, the electrons are repelling each other. And if you are far away from the nucleus and you have electrons in between you and the nucleus, those electrons actually are pushing you away at the same time that the nucleus is pulling you in. So in some ways, the electrons that are in between the valence electron and the, and the nucleus is shielding the, the effectiveness of the nucleus to pull that electron in. So the ones that are, uh, have, a, have a high shielding power are easier to steal than the ones that have a weaker shielding power. So the shielding, the screening constant is S. So essentially, Z is the number of, of electrons that you have in the, in, in the outer shell and the number of protons you have in the, in the nucleus. But we're only talking really about the outermost electrons. So if you have an outermost electron, say, one in the outer shell, and you have 10 on the inside shell, in the core then those 10 are going to steal away from the effectiveness of the nucleus to pull that electron in. So what you're going to see is as you go away from the nucleus, let's say I have a nucleus that's positive, and I've got layers of electrons around that. This guy is not pulled in as much because these guys are pushing him away. So there's a little bit of a push from the inside electrons that's pushing him away. And so the, the pull of the nucleus is weaker as you go farther and farther away. At the, more, the more shells you get away from the nucleus, the more the distance, the, it decreases down a group. So the effect of nuclear charge is, it should be, 12, you know, 11 electrons, 11 protons, they should attract each other. But we're talking about the outermost electrons being easier to steal away because they're farther from the nucleus and the inside ones are actually repelling it. The only difference that you're going to have to kind of think is the it increases across a period. All right, and we'll look at that in just a second. So... If I go across a period, say from um, lithium to neon, okay, it's going to get um, the effect of nuclear charge is going to go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher all the way to neon. Why? All right, so let's look at it. If you have if you have one in its outer shell, say lithium, okay, so I have some I have a I have a nucleus, and then I've got uh, two electrons in the inside shell, and then I have lithium. Well, those two are shielding that valence electron from the, from the uh, nucleus just a little bit. If I have beryllium, which is two on the outside shell, I now have four, I have more pull. This guy, the other valence electron, isn't really shielding him because he's at the same level. He's not in between you and the nucleus. That means there's more pull in the nucleus, but less, less um, shielding of the inside. You still only have two in between you. And so if I have three, these two guys don't, don't shield each other because they're at the same level. They're not in between you, but yet I have five in the nucleus. Do you see as you go across a row, 
the, you've got more and more uh, outside electrons that are not shielding you. You've got the same number of in-between electrons that are shielding you, but yet you've got more charge on the nucleus that's pulling. So as you go across from lithium to neon, you're going to get more and more and more pull. And so what's going to happen as a result is that these guys are going to be closer and closer and closer um, as you get clo as you go across. So you might have bigger uh, first column atoms and smaller last column atoms. The, the electrons are pulled in closer because they're not shielded by the other valence electrons. So let's make a comparison of two elements as you go across a row. So the first one, it's generic here, but the first one is in group one. So it's an S1. So this would be like a potassium or sodium or something like that. You've got an electron out in the valence shell. You've got however many rows of, of electron shell, um, shells with electrons inside. And then you have a nucleus. So the nucleus is pulling. There's a pull of the nucleus on that electron, but there's also a push by these electrons away. So when you add the push and the pull, it's going to be less than the original pull of the nucleus. So it's not going to be pulled very, very strongly. If I ha Let's go to the, to the second one. If the, um, or let's do, one, let's do an S2. Let's say I have however many layers of electrons, and I have two, and I end up with one more. There's one more electron on the outside, but one more proton on the inside. So what's happening is on this electron, this is pulling stronger than, than the original was, than this one, because it, the second one doesn't shield it very much, but yet you added another positive to pull it with. So it's going to be stronger. Once you get to this example where you have, um, where you have, this is a noble gas. So this would be eight. So this is the S's and P's. You've got two S's full. You've got six P's full. Well, that's something like this. You've got some kind of a, a, a nucleus. You've got so many layers of shielding electrons. And then you have six on the outside. Well, these guys are not shielding each other very much because they're not in between the nucleus and them. Okay, so they're not really shielding each other. But yet, as we've added electrons, we've also added more and more protons. More protons are pulling. So more po protons are pulling on this than we're pulling up here on this one. So what will happen is the first one is strongly shielded. Okay, so this is strongly shielded. So since it's strongly shielded, I've got less pull from the nucleus and it's easy to steal. This guy is weakly shielded because many of these are on the same level and they're not shielding each other. And so they are poorly shielded. They have a high effective uh, nuclear charge. And so they're hard to remove. So it would be easier to pick off something in column one than it would be to pick off something in column eight. In fact, it would be very, very, very hard to steal an electron from a noble gas because it's being pulled in by the nucleus very strongly.